It is day two of the Republican National Convention in Cleveland, Ohio, but the party is still recovering from a rocky day one because of convention rules and accusations of plagiarism. CCTV's Nathan King explains. This was not what Donald Trump and the Republican leaders wanted. The first day of the convention and a bitter disagreement on the convention floor in full view of the cameras. You are ignoring delegates who have been elected to this convention. Delegates wanted a full vote on the rules of the convention that potentially could have meant a challenge to Donald Trump's nomination. It was overruled, but not before the damage was done. The Republican Party's deep divisions exposed. You know, I'm never against the floor vote because that way you, you, you know your count for sure. I wasn't worried about it. I would have been worried if things would have gone really smoothly. You, know, you get suspicious when things go too smoothly. It was not a smooth evening, to be sure. What should have been an uncontroversial endorsement of Donald Trump by his wife turned into another crisis for the Trump campaign. Soon after Melania Trump gave her speech, comparisons were made to a speech made by Michelle Obama endorsing her husband in 2008. From a young age, my parents impressed on me. Barack and I were raised with so many of the values, the same values, that you work hard for what you want in life. You work hard for what you want in life. That your word is your bond. That your word is your bond. And you do what you say and keep your promise. That you do what you say you're going to do. That you treat people with respect. That you treat people with dignity and respect. The Trump campaign denies charges of plagiarism, saying the speech was inspired by Melania's life story and is original. She says she wrote most of it herself. Oh, uh, we're going to win. We're going to win so big. Thank you very much, everybody. Whatever the truth, it's another unwelcome controversy for a campaign that's already deeply controversial.